Hello and welcome to 1211 Binomial Probability Formula. This is the final section of chapter 12. To use the binomial probability formula, one, there are n repeated independent trials. Two, each trial has two possible outcomes, success or failure. We need to find the probability of each of these. For each trial, the probability of success and failure remains the same. So they're independent events. The probability of obtaining exactly x success is what we're after. So p of x, it'll be some number, in n independent trials is given by p of x equals n choose x times p to the x times q to the n minus x. Where p is a probability of success on a single trial and q is a probability of failure on a single trial. Example one, a basket contains five pens, one of each color, red, blue, black, green, and purple. Five pens are going in to be selected with replacement, so they're all independent. From the basket, find the probability that you have no blue pens selected. Okay, so for A, the probability of zero blue pens, that's going to be five choose zero times one-fifth, probability getting blue is one-fifth to the zero times four-fifths to the five power. So success is one-fifth, failure is four-fifths. Getting the blue pen is one-fifth, not getting blue is four-fifths. And from that we get 0.32768. So if you're going to do it five times, you're unlikely never to get a blue. What's the probability of exactly one blue pen? Probability of one well, that's going to be 5 choose 1 times 1 fifth to the 1 power times 4 fifths now to the 4 power. So one time you're going to be getting the, one, the blue pen, four times you're not going to get the blue pen. And that's going to be 0 .4096. Probability of exactly two blue pens 5 choose 2, 1 fifth to the 2 power times 4 fifths to the 5 minus 2 is 3. So notice 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus 4 is 5, 0 plus 5 is 5. So you're getting success twice, failure three times. And that's going to be 0 0.2048. And D, the probability of getting exactly three pens. It's 5 choose 3, 1 fifth to the third, 4 fifth to what power? Let me hear you say it, 4 fifth to the, very good, the 2 power. That's 0 0.0512. Okay, so 3 successes, 2 failures, total of 5. Okay, feel free to pause it and go to the next page. The manufacturer of lunch boxes knows that 0.7% of the lunch boxes are defective. Write a binomial probability formula that would be used to determine the probability that, that exactly x out of n lunch boxes are defective. So that's going to be the probability of x is n choose x times 0 0.007 to the x power times 1 minus 0 0.007. That's going to be 9.993, right? It's 0.993 to the x minus n power. Part B says write the binomial probability formula that would be used to find the probability that exactly four lunch boxes out of 60 would be defective. So P of 4 is going to be 60 choose 4 times 0 0.007 to the fourth power times 0.993 to the 60 minus 4 is 56 power. And that's going to give us 7.9003 times 10 to the negative 4 or 0 0.00079 Zero zero three two four seven eight. Very unlikely. Okay, feel free to pause that. I'm going to go to the next one. 
Example three, find the probability that an egg selected at random has a weak shell and will crack, or the probability is that uh, point 0.2 that it'll crack. Find the probability that none of eight eggs selected at random has a weak shell. So P of X is going to be eight choose X times point 0.2 to the X times point 0.8, because 1 minus point 0.2 is point 0.8, to the 8 minus x. So for A, the probability of 0 is going to be 8 choose 0 times 0.2 to the 0 times 0.8 to the 8. That's 0.1678. And B says at least one of the 8 eggs selected has a weak shell. So the probability of at least 1 is 1 minus the probability of none. So that's just going to be 1 minus the previous result, 0.1678, because that was that none of them have a weak shell, 0.8322. Okay. Well, that'll do it for our chapter 12. That's 12.11. Binomial. I hope you enjoy the binomial theorem. It's not as bad as you think when you get into it, so try working the problems. I'll see you guys online when we meet some of your questions. Thank you.